So the 4PP pawn for the PlayStation 4, a number of us had to use either one of these USB pin drives in order to load XFAT hacks to get the jailbreak running on our PlayStation 4. And really, this process was a very manual process of inserting this in to the PlayStation 4 and then taking it right back out of the PlayStation 4. So what came along from that was we started to get a number of these ESP devices, such as this ESP8266. And well, with those, it automated or emulated the USB drive, so you didn't have to sit there and insert it in and out. Well, now things are getting quite interesting because you can literally take your USB thumb drive that you might have had and very soon be able to toss it out the window. So let's discuss. So right at a day ago, I released this video, which was the new Laps exploit, and it was a kernel exploit for the PlayStation 4 up to 12.02 and the PlayStation 5 at 10.01. And what we saw in this was, was that this was released by a user named ABC, and currently they only supported the PlayStation 4 8.0 only, and they noted that other firmwares must be ported. Now, they did state that kernel read-write does need to be ported to the PlayStation 5, and that this is not a hypervisor exploit. And so... I showed you downloading this file called psfree 1.5rc, and that rc there was because it was a release candidate. Now, inside of the file right here, there was a readme.md, and what we saw was, was that this came with psfree version 1.50. Now, fast forward to today, what we can see here is, is that that is now inside of a repo. So it does state that PS3 is a WebKit exploit 6.xx to 9.60. So this is big time for WebKit. So again, we would not have to use a USB drive having WebKit that goes all the way up to 9.60. And then for the PlayStation 5, 1.x all the way up to 5.x. This is PS3 version 1.50. And so that basically means this is the same exact thing that we had just a day ago. They did not make this a full release at the moment. And so now obviously others can start taking advantage of this project. Now, one thing to keep in mind as of the moment is, is that this is a work in progress and that they are going to port to the PlayStation 4 firmware 9.00 first. So if you do have a PlayStation 4 on 9.00, you will be able to jailbreak without using the USB drive. Now, it does state down in here that it is a collection of exploits for the PS4 console. The main focus of the repo is for the PS4, but we try to make things portable to the PlayStation 5. And then looking back over here, we can see that for the exploits, PS3 is in this source folder, and then LAPS, which is the actual kernel exploit, is in the source scripts, and then LAPS mjs and so if we just scroll up in here into the project we can go right here into scripts and right there is the laps.mjs there is the ps3.mjs now one thing to note is is that looking at the commits here what we can see is is that this is going to be a 1.5 release candidate 1 and there is a nice little stream of work that is coming in here to do things like some of the missing 9.00 kernel patches and then updating the 9.00 offsets and more. Okay, and so if you're wondering what we can do with this, absolutely nothing at the current moment, but I think there's going to be quite a bit of work that you're going to start seeing going forward. And I did want to add a little bit of context. So 
This is by Chameleon. So thank you, Chameleon, for getting this project up and running that a port to PS4 firmware 9.00 is coming. I saw over here on his Twitter account that it says, well, let's see how the 9.00 chain will be. And you can see that he is working on this as we speak. And looks like there's still some errors that might be happening. But he says that I'm still fighting. I need Sistro and CTN to help. So we should get something soon. So anyways, thank you so very much for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Michael, out.